Kuberin, the god of wealth, was very proud of his position. His place was made of gold and silver. The walls were decorated with priceless stones like diamond, sapphire and so on. Hmm. <laughs> there is no one equal to me. The reason for him to think like this was once Mahavishnu himself had borrowed from him, he wanted to parade his wealth in front of Lord Shiva. So he went to Kailash. My Lord, both of you should come to my palace for dinner tonight. I know his intention. This invitation is not out of love. I should teach him a lesson. Oh, sorry, we cannot make it tonight. My Lord, I have made all arrangements. It will be a great disappointment for me if you are not coming. In that case, I will send my son. He was disappointed as he saw the young Ganesha. Hmm, what does he know about my pride? With half heart. Okay, I will take him. Before that, I have to warn you. He is a voracious eater. Do not worry. I will feed him to his heart's content. I have prepared food to feed an army. Okay, take him. My son, tonight he will treat you in his palace. Will I get Modakas? Oh, sure. You can have as much as you want. Okay, let's go. Soon both reached the palace. Ganesha was surprised to see the palace. Is this the palace of yours? Yes, it's mine. Kuberin took Ganesha and showed him around the palace. The whole palace glittered with ivory tables, chairs, decorated with precious gems. Kuberin took Ganesha to the dining hall. Ganesha saw the cauldrons filled with rice, vadas, modagas, payasam. The dinner was served. Wow! What a tasty food! Kuberin felt happy on seeing Ganesha enjoying the dinner. Food was again served. He ate everything. Again food was served. He ate everything. The quantity of food started decreasing slowly. Kuberin who saw this was shocked. Is this enough for you? No, still I want. I am going to finish everything. Kuberin could not believe his eyes. Slowly, the cooked food started decreasing. Ganesha did not stop. Everyone was running up and down to serve. Still, they could not cope up with Ganesha, who was very fast in eating. A cook came to Kuberin. No food is left out. Kuberin stared at him, dumbfounded. I feel hungry. Serve the food. As he could not wait, he went in and swallowed all raw vegetables and cereals. Even then he was hungry. He swallowed all that he saw, trees, shrubs, creepers, vessels, tables, chairs. Still he was hungry. I'm still feeling hungry. I do not know what will I do if you are not giving me the food. Kuberin could not find any way to pacify Ganesha. Ganesha, stop! Nothing is left out. What will I do? Give me anything or else I will eat you. Suddenly, Kuberin thought of Shiva and realized that Lord Shiva only can help. So he ran to Kailash. Please forgive me, my lord. It's only you who can save me. Kuberin fell at Shiva's feet and prayed. Shiva, who forgave him? You have realized your mistake. My son is capable of eating this whole world. Give this puffed rice to him with love. 
you will get his blessings koberin took the puffed rice and went to his palace ganesha please forgive me take this puffed rice and bless me as ganesha ate the puffed rice his hunger was gratified seeing this kobera's eyes was filled with tears of joy he fell at the feet of ganesha and he was blessed <laughs>